right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to talk to you about where you can go to find avatars inside of VRChat. So generally, when you're just starting out in VRChat, you're just logging in, you'll end up in what is your little home flying island. You can change your home location to other places, but the default one is this little floating island in the middle of nowhere. And you generally have like a basic robot as an avatar, not much else. So over here, you got a little mirror that automatically turns on so you can see your character. And they have some default ones that are available in this list over here that you can kind of page through. And you can select from one of these if one of these floats your goat. Like if you want to be this rock dude here. I think he's a rock and roll dude. Oh, he's like a more of like a biker dude. You can then click on them in order to preview each one of these different characters for yourself to see what they look like and how they behave when you click on different things. And if you notice here, there's a couple of little dots in the upper right hand corner, and these mean that these are visible to people who play VR chat on PC and also people who have the Quest headset which is denoted in the green circle there that says quest. Uh, a lot of places like it when you have ones that are very easy to see no matter what platform you're on, although a lot of people tend to upload experimental avatars that are only available for people who play on PC. And then you can just sort of go through here and you find you one that you like, like maybe you like this floating spacecraft, and then once you find one that you like, you can hit escape, go to avatars, and then the one that you're currently rocking is over here on the right hand side, and you can click here to favorite it, which saves it to your avatars, your personal avatars, so that you can use it for later. Which is nice because it makes it easy just to go through and grab ones that you've used before in the event that you want to use it more than once. You can also just quickly switch between them here in this little sidebar off on the left hand side if you want to like switch to something from like Space Marines. Although do note that the bigger the character, the longer it will take for it to load, especially if it's like really detailed. Like this one's got a lot of detailed portions on it, so this one takes a bit to load. But I actually kind of didn't mind uh, that weird floating one the recently used, this little floaty thing. I'll change into that. Now, if you're not really satisfied with these freebies that you get here on the sidebar, there are ones that you can buy if you go searching around on the web. That might be something you want to do if you play this game a lot. But you can also hit escape and go to worlds and you can search somewhere here at the upper kind of left-ish area. You can search for worlds or servers here inside of VR chat, and you can search for avatar worlds. And what this is going to do is people like to showcase the avatars that they have made in what's called an avatar world, which is a world full of buttons that you can press in order to check out a bunch of different avatars. And some of these are like different YouTubers or different VTubers that have like a following and you can go to these worlds and you can click on them to try them out, look at them in the mirror and see if you like them or not. So let's just say, let's look for something specific because I'm not really finding something specific. Let's look for anime avatars. And here, what do we got? We've got a lot of ones if you want to have like a waifu avatar, but you can also go to like a world that's got a bunch of Dragon Ball Z or Shrek stuff. Here's a bunch of meme. There's a bunch of meme uh, characters here and we can click on new instance and I want this to only be me and my friends so I'm not pestered by random people and I will click join. So it'll automatically load this world. They're usually not very big, only a few megabytes. So it's not a big deal to go through and connect and look at all of the different weird avatars. So this this is about what I would expect. A lot of goofy nonsense. They've got like a weird little 
hovering drone avatar we can mess around with. And it looks like this avatar is literally just a flat picture. So that's not really something I think you'd probably want to use in the long term. But they got a bunch of avatars up here on the wall. Everything from Buff Shrek to Peter Griffin. Or even the chunky bird that's all full of rage from the Angry Birds movie. Um, what looks good? We could be various demonic forms of Spongebob characters. Let's grab one of the Spongebob ones and see what that looks like. Okay, well, this one comes with its own sounds when you first switch it on. I'm not a big fan of those, just because the sounds will play randomly when you don't want them to, and that can be kind of annoying. But here we've also got Shrek, but it's just pants. Yeah, so you're just Shrek, but you're just legs and the head. And that could be kind of cool. And again, if you want to save any of these, you just go to your avatars. The one you're currently wearing is over here, and you can favorite it if you'd like as well. Now, one of the other options you have if you go to random worlds is you can go to what's one that's sort of popular. This one's got lots of people in it. Let's just join a random world with people. And what I'll show you is you can actually find people who have an avatar that you think is pretty cool. And you can go ahead and yoink that avatar for yourself. Now, do note that these are generally like worlds that are full of a lot of people being very loud. So you don't necessarily know what you're going to run into in public lobbies until you get there. Like here we've got... Uh, the guy from Deus Ex. That guy's got a kind of a cute furry avatar. It's kind of like a pastel set of colors. And then what else have we got here? Random anime kid. And so basically, if you find somebody who's got something that you want, like maybe you like the Pokemon there in the corner, you can hit escape and select him. And then if he's got it available, you can click on clone avatar to borrow his avatar, but I can't borrow his or his. Most people have clone avatar off by default, so you can't yoink their avatar, but every once in a while you can get like this guy and you can steal his Batman chimpanzee avatar. And then I can go to avatars here and I could save this if I wanted to. So that's another way to get an avatar. The last way is if I go back to worlds I can actually go to one of these different worlds and I can look up an avatar search world. And these allow you to go to these different worlds. And then here in these avatar search worlds, you can actually search by name for a specific avatar that you want. So I can go over here to this search board and I can type in either the creator of the avatar if I know that or the avatar itself. Let's say I just want to pick up a Hank Hill avatar. So I'll search for Hank. And then the wall over here will start populating. Okay, I guess it had to initialize the database first. But once the database is initialized, I can generally search for like a name of something like, in this case, Hank. And in theory, I should be able to find Hank Hill from King of the Hill. But I'm going to tell you a secret right now. A lot of the search terms that are connected to different avatars in this game that you can grab for free are not super specific and not super great. So let's say Hank Hill. And let's see if that gives me better results. Oh, yeah, here we go. We got Hanks. We got very concerning Hanks as well. Also photorealistic Hanks. Not quite what I was expecting. But then you can sort of go through here and pick one. Again, you really generally want one that's available on both PC and Quest. That way, everybody who you run into out in the wild can see you. Otherwise, you know, they'll just see, like, a blank robot or something, the default avatar. But here we go. Here's Hank Hill. And that's another way that you can get avatars is through this search feature. And then if you hit R, you can also find a bunch of extra capabilities that some of these avatars have. Some of them come with alternate clothing or hats that are hidden inside of the R button underneath expressions. But in this case, I just have some basic emojis like dying 
Or I can dance if I want to. Or wave to people. And that's just sort of an example. So that's a quick look at how to get different avatars, the best ways to find them for free inside of VR chat. I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.